Hello, I'm the Bald Book Geek, and this is my December slash book buying ban book haul. <laughs> yeah, and it weighs a ton, so there it is. Where do we start? December is December was the plan that the only books I were going to get were going to be um, things that I was either sent by publishers. Or this and that. Mm. Yeah, that didn't go to plan. And um, I'm going to first do the main, one of my favourite. I got sent this by the publisher. I cannot thank you guys enough for this. I was sent the 10th anniversary edition of The City of Bones, The Mortal Instruments by Cassandra Clare, the Shadows Hunter novel. And I'm going to say this here and now. This is a thing of beauty. It really is. This is a phenomenal addition because for some reason the hardbacks of the Mortal Instruments are practically impossible to get and it's lovely having this. It's like let's go back 10 years and make me feel really old. This is beautiful and thank you. So let's get on with the rest shall we? I picked up the hardback copy of Idaho. I read this from um, I read the ARC of this. I love this book. It's brilliant. Um, it was a pound in a charity shop. Um, and I'm going to say this here and now. Some charity shops are undercharging for their books. You guys, come on. A pound. And it's first edition. I also picked up Thought Now Stars. First edition. Hardback. This is a US copy. Oddly enough. Um... So, uh, thank you Oxfam, and whoever donated, the Ox to, donated this to Oxfam, thank you. I don't know why this book is so controversial, but I picked up A Little Life. I've wanted to read this, but I've only ever seen it in paperback, which is fine, but the paperback, I have a very strong dislike of very big chunksters like this in paperback, because they're so, mm, the minute you open it, it's like double the thickness, it's condensed down, and the minute you open it, that spine is cracked. And it was in a charity shop. So I, I can't wait to get my teeth settled into this, because I keep hearing so many people I know love this book. So, I can't wait to read it. Um, another charity shop up in um, Cambridge, I picked up Assassin's Creed, The Last Descendants. This is a YA novel by Scholastics, but I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan, so why the hell not? Um, I, I, I think I've, I've read a few of the other Assassin's Creed books, not the ones based on games, but the ones that came after. And I really enjoy them. I love the series, I love the concepts, so here it is. I picked up a paperback copy of Beautiful Creatures. I've never owned these. I've borrowed them. I've had the, I've borrowed them over the years, but I've never owned these books. I'm a huge fan of the Castle Chronicles. They're a bit of a guilty pleasure for me. And controversially, I even like the film. So there it is. The Book of Lost Things. This was a library sale. This was 30p. So there it is. Um, one, again, that I've heard a lot about. People keep telling me I need to read this. So, yeah, I picked up a lovely copy of The Borrowers. I love The Borrowers, and I love the BBC series I grew up on. Not so much that god-awful film, but the BBC series and these books were a big part of my childhood. So, why not? Um, it's really lovely, and a very quaint little story. I picked up a decent copy. I owned a very small condensed copy of this book, you know, trade paperback version. And I managed to find it in a version I can actually read without getting a headache. So the Magician's Guild, I'm a big fan of this series as, as a whole and I really enjoy them. So there it is. The Accidental Father, I know nothing about this other than the fact a lot of people compare this to John Green. So... I'm rolling with it. It was in the library. It's kind of a random book, but we'll see. A lot of people compare it to John Green, like I said, so it's worth a go. 
and I picked up a little bit of a classic. This I read a very, very long time ago for school. I'm going to give it another go and see what happens. I did not enjoy this in school. We only read about uh, about the first two chapters for schoolwork, but I remember hating those two chapters. So we'll see what happens. And finally, I picked up more than you can say. I know nothing about this, but I needed to make up the four for a pound sale at the library. So I picked this up just because it actually looks quite interesting. So you can pause here and read this. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I genuinely did not mean to buy this amount of books, but, um, yeah, the mess here is, is extraordinary. And, um, tell me guys, have you, <laughs> I'm just having a weird moment because I'm thinking this, I, w I was not going to buy any books this month. None at all. And here we are. So tell me guys, have you read any of these? What did you think? What do, um... Did you enjoy them? Tell me what, you know, comment down below. And like always, all of my links are in the doobly-doo. So, you know, if you want to find me on Instagram or Twitter or something, I'm, I'm down there somewhere. Um, and as always, to quote a particularly not nice comment that I received once, this is the point where I beg for subscribers. If you guys like what I do and enjoy my channel and want to get regular updates, please subscribe and hit that little bell icon. Because every time you do that, it really does help me out and it helps my channel. And every time you guys interact and we get talking, you guys help me and I love it. Also, if you're on Facebook, check out the Bald Book Geek Facebook group. Because I think you guys, if you're not already a member, please check it out. We are um, Bald Book Geek Book Club and the link is in the doobly-doo as always. So yeah, kind of a random haul and I will tell you guys what I think about these at a later date and as always I will um, talk, talk to you guys later. Bye.